Here we have two stores, store A and store B. Store A is a much smaller store, and but both stores sell three fruit, pears, apples, and bananas. Store A sells a lot, store B sells a lot more than store A um, because of its larger size. But now, let's make a segmented bar chart to compare the relative proportions of fruit sold for both stores. To do that, we first need to get these frequencies here into relative frequencies. So to do that, I'm going to make a third column here labeled percent. And now let's find the total for this first store by adding up those numbers. 100 plus 250 plus 320 is 670. Now find the percents of each fruit. So for pears, for example, we're going to do 100 for pears divided by 670 total times 100 to get into percents. So 100 divided by 670 times 100 is 14.9 percent to the nearest tenth. 250 divided by 670 times 100 is 37.3. 320 divided by 670 times 100 is 47. And if we did this correctly, all these numbers should add up to 100. So 14.9 plus 37.3 plus 47.8, 100. Of course, with rounding, it might not add up exactly to 100, but it will come close. All right, store B, same idea. Let's get percents of each fruit sold. So we'll first define total. So add up all three numbers of fruit sold and get 4,043. So now divide 800 for pairs by 4,043 and you get 19.8 apples 14.56 divided by 4,043 get 36.0 Divide 1787 by 4043 times 100, and you will get 44.2. And they should add up to 100. All right, now the question here, number one, asks to construct a segmented bar chart of these stores. So, to construct a segmented bar chart, you start just like a regular bar chart and draw an x and y axis. But Similar to a relative frequency bar chart, you're going to use percents on the y-axis. However, different from a, segment or a relative frequency bar chart, you're going to go up to 100%. And you just draw two bars. Make them big, preferably, so you can label them. A separate bar over here. Okay, now go up by tens to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, now to make the bar, the segmented bar chart, it's best to keep a running total in your calculator. So what I do is I enter the first percent, the number for pairs, 14.9% for store A. Actually, you should label this first. So this is store A, and this is store B. So 14.9% for pairs, enter. So then go over to your chart and go up just like in a relative frequency bar chart up to the right percent, so that's 14.9%. And that 
should be labeled pairs. Now, for the next one, just add, press plus on your calculator, and then add 37.3, and you'll get 52.2%. And that is apples. And now, since there's only three categories here, so the rest of the space will all be bananas. All right, the next chart, move my calculator out of the way. The next chart, start with the percent for pairs, which is 19.8%, just below 20. And write pairs. Then add 19.8 plus 36 to get 55.8%, which is like up here. And that is all apples. And then the rest is all bananas. So looking at this segmented bar chart, you can come to the conclusion that store A sold more a relative great relatively greater proportion of bananas than uh, store B. And you can get that also just from looking at the percents. But the chart makes it pretty pictured and uh, makes it easier to see.